Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Moth House. Um, I know we're going into a house looking for moths. That's about all I know about it. Let's check it out. All right. All right. Got a letter. Or are you mailing one? Oh, no, we got a letter. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. That's fishy. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means I will not return. That's comforting. Thanks, Dad. Um, I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request a re have a request to you. Hmm, that's a weird way to put it, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, um, in the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of the house, but it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. So, my dad wants me to catch the moths because he's probably dead and let them out. Okay. Let's go get some moths. With a match. Seriously? I don't need to go back. Maybe I do. I thought it was a rifle. Okay. A little stormy. Here, moth, moth, moth. Oh, rat! Oh, I can crouch. Cool. Well, the match actually burns down. I hope I have more. The big spider move. Oh, what is this? Is this moths? Are these moths? Or are these just like gnats? I don't know. Who gets a picture of a moth? Actually, that big. All right. Use a mouse wheel to change the item. Oh, huh. are these little moths? I catch these. Oh, I got three leopard moths. That's a lot of moths. Okay. Oh, big one. Got it. Ooh, another one. I don't know how many I need. Another one. I'm no moth expert, but I don't know, uh... What are you? Alright, let's go move on. What else do I got? Oh, just that. Okay. Oh, they're crawl. Oh my god. Okay, we got ten spotted. We got nine tigers, 52 daggers, leopard moth 33. Alright, oh, we got one the first, whatever that first moth is. What's this? Pick up. What's this? Moths emit ultras, ultrasound. Really? Do they? Is that true? As a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz with the average, average value of around 60 to, 30 to 60. All right, so there's no moth in front of us. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in his body called pi... pi balls. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Fascinating. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, don't want to escape. What we got? Those are huge. This one's weird looking. I mean, he did say he liked them all to get let go, so let's just get as many as we can. That's good enough. I'm kind of sick of those. Oh, I thought that was a. Oh my god, that looks like a giant moth. The combination of those, the white thing, that milk, and the chair. 
from back here. Doesn't it look like a moth? Oh, okay. I like it. I know what it is. Maybe not so much, but it did. Alright. The Luna Moth is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. I think I've seen one of those around here where I live. Uh, it is named after the Roman goddess of the moon because of its pale green color and crescent-shaped markings on its wings. The Luna Moth is known for its short adult lifespan of only about a week. Wow, that is really short. During which it does not eat or have a mouth. Okay, that's so sad. Uh, the wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night. Yeah, I've definitely seen those uh, caterpillars around here. Okay. Good enough. What's this? Crowbar. Cook. No recipes. Weird. Why would I cook? Why would I cook food? Sounds strange. Never know. You're fluttering behind the wall. Oh, hello. This one. All right. Cool. Oh, I still hear. Oh, I was gonna say I still hear some. Oh, I hope I have a lot. Big, big, big matchbook. I need a key. Okay, let's go check out the boarded room, which worries me. Why is there a room boarded up in here? Hey, goose. Is there something I don't... I'm missing about geese? Because I had another game that had a goose in it. Anyway. Oh. Hello. No, close it. Thank you. Use F to light, put out a match. Oh. Why would I want to do that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell is that? Ha! Ah! What the hell? What the hell? Dad, you have some explaining to do. You know, I'm just now thinking I probably shouldn't hang around in here. But I can't help myself. I gotta catch them all. Alright, I think we're good. I think I got one of everything that was in here at least. That's frightened me for a second. Moth image also sound a way of communicating with other okay. So or this way? This is where the giant moth was. Raid. Okay, what's this? Save recipe. Got a recipe. 
What is the recipe for? I hear something. Oh. Let's not go down there just yet. <gasps> Shit! Oh, go, go, go! Oh, okay. Let's see what that recipe was. Oh, I actually started scrunching down my chair. I was trying to get sure some... I was trying to crouch, too. Uh, what? What's this recipe for? Check out what's down here. Can I hide some places? No. Oh. Oh. Oh no! No, no, no! Not like this! Please, not like this! I'm too... Something to die. Oh, this is bad. I'm going downstairs. Ah, oh, God! <laughs> How are you supposed to get away from it? Am I dead, dead now? No, it sounds like I'm back in a cocoon. So does it, is that why I lose stuff? I don't know if I actually lose anything. I lose my progress for where I was at. That's very annoying. So the only guaranteed way to get away from it is to come here. I hear him! I hear him! Down, 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 down. <sighs> so annoying. How do I get rid of the moth? Oh, is that what the recipe's for? <gasps> Crap! Crap, go! Oh. Okay. This was not easy. Okay. Okay. All right, let's not go down the hallway where we know he is. Let's go down the other one. Which I think also we ran into him there anyway. I wonder if there's more than one. All right. Back down here. I don't have anything for... Not enough ingredients. So I don't have any white witch moths. Yeah, we ran into over here, didn't we? Grab a bunch of them. Maybe one of these is what I need, or a few of these are what I need. For the recipe, whatever it's for. Oh, what's this? We got a new recipe. Oh, wait, is this what this thing's for? Or is it just detecting these guys? Oh, I think it's just detecting these guys. I thought maybe it was for... Uh, the... Big guy. That's the way I came.
Hi, Paul. It turns out the ling lingual moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They are capable of, of redacted. So I have to repeat that I am going to redact. I am not sure I'll be back from there, but in the me name of science, I have to check it out. I grew new types of moss in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a larger number of different moss. Just in case, I'll block the entrance if something happens then. I left the key in the attic in the library. All right. Where is the library? Oh, here's something. Attic. Key. Oh, it's just a recipe. Hope we're getting some good to make so you can make something. Oh, he's like behind that wall. You can kind of hear him. Oh, the library. Oh, oh God. Key, key. Okay, what's this say? Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in biology for his discovery of the lingua moth. A new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moths, okay, that's probably why it's called lingua, um, ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up a new possibility for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research resulted in groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Okay, cool. Oh, that was a ladder. The way the thing looked. Alright, so these are all done here. Come here, won't you? And you. Okay. All right, let's go. Seems like you're safe over here. What are the recipes for? Are we eating these or what? I, mean, I should have at least have some. That I can actually make. God! I didn't even hear him that time. Well, we have recipes. Let's see if we can uh, make some of them now. Yeah, I don't lose any. Yes, we have white moths now. I think we have at least one or more of everything now. We do. Could I just leave? I could just leave, couldn't I? And I have one of everything. And I'm never going to catch them all. Looks like I got to catch the big guy. Is there a big guy on there? No. But what are the recipes for? Okay, this one takes one of everything. What does this do? Okay. We feed it to the big guy? Is that what we do? Here, I have food. I have food. I have food. No, he's not. He's not in the mood. 
Okay, let's just see what happens when we try to leave. We I mean we still have all of them. And a bucket of moths. For whatever reason. So the front door should be over here, right? We came in. Okay. Oh, yeah, we came over here and crouched, okay. We did it! Alright, yeah, we got all of them. Well, not all of them, but... Number 4839203. Oh. We just something bad. Like, we just doomed the world. Okay, Moth House. I don't know what the the recipes are for exactly. And I don't know if it was possible to catch every single moth. But you know, what? I'm gonna leave that guys up to you guys. Um maybe you, you can do it better than me. Um this does have some repel replayability because I don't know what the recipes are for. Maybe you can figure that out. Somehow. Maybe there's a note I missed. Anyway, um the game will be down in the description. Check it out yourselves. Uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comments, and it'd be great if you leave a subscribe and a like. It'd be great, but I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.